fighting over this bullshit. Their manager sticks to her guns like, you can't name your band this bullshit. No man can swear the name ever gets to you. Gab shot back with butthole, sir. But one, butthole is to swear. And two, they really shouldn't aspire to be like the butthole, sir. Sounds like Gab and the guys came to Metro. I love the name this bullshit. Listen to this bullshit, you know? Love the bad poetry contest as well as Gelder. So I can't wait to hear what they have next time around. I tried Are submitting something a couple of years ago, but yeah. didn't accept it. Oh, oh my. Uh -huh. my bad poetry. No, go ahead. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The man of the hour. Come on, Wesley Crusher. The launch waits. Oh, bitch, please. I'm clearly Cisco. Jake Cisco. Captain Cisco. We are minutes away from having Bloom at our mercy. Well, we're gonna cook the shit out of their goose. T minus 20, 19, 18, 17, 95, Cordy, Google Plex. You know, just imagining that big data load is enough to get me to half mast and touching cloth. At the same freaking time. Three, two, two one. one. Lift off! Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Nice.
Holy. Look at that. Hell of a view up here. Time to blow the living shit out of Bloom. Bloom's network covers even more globe than we thought. Even a web this complex has to have a way in. Somewhere. I'm picking up some points of entry. A few of these data hubs have their share of vulnerabilities. Love it. Let's go. The Bloom offices are in Yongsan. Let's make some music. Problem. SML gateway with adaptive security. No way through it. I could spend months and still get nowhere with this. No. There is always a way. Hey, what happens to data centers during a power outage? Their UPS kicks in. What else? What if that goes too? The firewall would drop. We'd be one step closer to Delaware. Wrench, that's brilliant! You should do that! Funny you should say that, Satara. What? What? Sometimes We're fucked. What the fuck did you do, Wrench? Shut down the power. Any other requests? <laughs> Why use a hammer when you have a wrench? That's what I'm about. Yeah, I pulled a stunt like that once, Wrench. Riots ensued. People died. Not that kind of thing doesn't bother you. All this tech. Wrench, am I drooling? I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of me drooling. You know your way around these servers, Joshua? 
I think I can speak to them. I probably could. Josh, you are definitely the man. Uh, thank you, Ray. Welcome to Dublin, Ireland, boys. Ah, uh, I thought this was Dublin, Ohio. Let's look around, make ourselves at home. to Delaware. What? He's right. Look, we've got access to Delaware. Time to get what we came for. Very goddamn spectacular. Let's get him. All of Bloom's metadata is about to be ours. This is the big one. You got this. Oh, shit. Look at the size of that. Guys, we still got this, right? Man, they really have this locked down. Stressful doing this with all of you watching. Marcus, Marcus. Seriously, you're gonna do this now? Marcus, Marcus, Marcus. Shouldn't you guys go fuck yourselves or something? Thank 
of my visit. Marcus, what are you up to? Now, uh it's a surprise. What? What? Hey, not yet. Did it work? Wait for it. <laughs> you see what I did there? Oh, mad skulls, bro. take forever to go through all this. Uh, focus on why the satellites are in play. Ray. Yeah, already got eyes on it. Holy loving fuck. It's a backbone. Satellite backbone? What about the latency? There's no way they can match the speed of fiber optics. If I'm reading this right, they are. Bloom did it. They're, they're bypassing the undersea cables with satellites. That's a quantum leap in tech. I mean, if this works, it'll take hackers years to catch up or... Yeah, not for us. We're already in. Hey, who's on Bloom's client list? We got Noodle. We got Envite. We got Titus. We got Galilee. We got the, the government. The New York Stock Exchange. Wait, so all these companies just agreed to up and funnel all their data through Bloom? Does anyone else find that suspicious? Now, all that data at Bloom's fingertips, that's like the world's most powerful monopoly. Can we nuke the backbone? No, no, even if we could, we still need answers. Hey, everybody listen up. Our work is far from over, but with this score, at least we're on the playing field. So pick a target. Invite, Titus, Dips. whatever, and start digging. Look for shit they're not supposed to be doing, right? Dushan wants to paint us as an enemy? Let's show him what going to war with us really means. Yeah. 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 Mm. Hey, what's up? You yeah, know what's up. I saw those wheels spinning. Look, I don't want you using Marcus as your personal weapon against Bloom. Where the fuck is this coming from? I know about Raymond Kenny and his great collateral damage. We're using each other here. That was always the deal, Satara. Marcus is a big boy. He knows how to look after himself. Mm-hmm. Sure. Weird. In a free and just society, every person is treated with dignity. In a free and just society, leaders are accountable to those they govern. And in a free and just society, individuals can rise as far as their talents and hard work will take them. 
Do you believe your society is just? Just. Do you believe you are free? Free. free. Perhaps you trust in the power of democracy. Demo that your vote counts. Vote, vote. Companies now buy politicians and manipulate elections. Do you believe in the power of the free market? The stock exchange is a puppet show for the rich. Your wealth is controlled by people you've never met. Never met. Do you believe the government protects you? Protects you. National defense now aims to protect the government from you. Don't take our word for it. Join us as we launch our biggest operation yet and see for yourself. The foundations of U.S. policy have failed us all. Democracy, the free market, national security. DedSec will give you the truth. Do what you will. Marcus, Josh is swimming through the deep end of the Galilei data, and he's got something he wants to show you. Cool. What's the scale of the thing? Come back home when you can. This might be big. <laughs> What's up, Ray? Joshua picked up something strange from the Galilei hack. It's code, but the comments are in Chinese. Aw, oh, tell me the Chinese didn't hack the satellite backbone already. Not the satellite. The submarine cables connecting China and the US. Hmm. That's not even the interesting drop your pants part. Bloom's been monitoring the hack. Joshua says the hackers are stealing data and using it to make a mint on the New York Stock Exchange. The hackers turned inside a trader, so it's not the first time it's happened. Yeah, we'll get this. The program the hackers are using? Drum roll, Josh, please. Pattern recognition software. Sure as shit looks like bellwether to me. And Bloom knows? So why are they sitting on it? Well, that's why we're talking. We have nothing solid to go on, except our Chinese hackers use their access to pre-clear a cargo ship landing in San Francisco. Their shipping containers just arrived at the board. I'll check it out.
Sorry. Yo, Sitara, what's the container number I'm looking for? LV426. Oh, uh, seriously? You testing my geek foo? A bit, yeah. It starts with SIBU707. <laughs> okay, I see it. But I got other containers in the way. Gonna have to find a way to unblock it. This is scary as fuck. Imagine what happens if Bloom takes CTOS global. Countries without any regulations, countries where the government will actively use it against their people. It would be catastrophic. A nightmare scenario, and it's probably already in progress. So how do we even begin to stop it? We keep hitting their corporate allies, expose the risks, the abuse. We're not fighting against Bloom itself. That's a losing battle. We've got to wreck its image and destroy its brand. TOS has verified your location. Police are on their way. Marcus? We found a potential diamond in the Galilee dump with Titus's name on it. I'm listening. Wrench and I are working on a plan. Easier if we fill you <clears throat> in when you're back in the garage. I. Calm down, calm the fuck down. Oh, Riddle me this who around here is Chinese? and deals in human trafficking. Anti-shoe boys for sure. Yeah. Well, it's some high-end human smuggling like I ain't never seen before. His container is nicer than my last apartment. I'm sending you a picture. Got it. Who is he and why does he have a bloody nose? Noodle Translate isn't his friend. And he's not your run-of-the-mill cargo either. Not sure what I can do with it. Let's see if you can match his face online. My guess, he's got an education if they went to all this trouble. Right. I'll start with Chinese schools and get back to you if I find something. Okay. Oh, and by the way, uh, welcome to America. Marcus, I found your guy. What you got? Graduate of Shanghai Jiao Tong University. He's got a double master's in statistic and business. He's a quant. They definitely need him to number crunch that stock market data, which means the Auntie Shoe Boys are in the business of insider trading. I have a contact in Chinatown who's connected with the Auntie Shoe Boys. I'm sending you his coordinates. Maybe he can help you get answers.
Hi, would you like to peruse the menu? Our chef is famous in the city. My fault. Hey, you know this guy? Yeah, you're just full of attitude, aren't you? Look, I know the Auntie Shoe Boys are bringing them in. I'm trying to find out why. No, I don't fucking know him. We don't all know each other. Satara said you could help me out. Give me something here. Why didn't you say so? Auntie Shoe has an office in the import-export company on Gold Street. They keep records there. But you tell Satara this makes us even. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks. Heads up, I'm checking up on a lead in Chinatown. I think it's an Auntie Shoe safe house or something. I'll let you know if I find anything. Okay, keep an eye out for anything we can use related to the stock market hack. Thank you. 
until I was about 12. She was always this sweet old lady who would always come over with a tray of food. Take care of us when we were sick or pick us up from detention. And she was like this Chinese version of the Tweety Bird Granny. Tiny, soft-spoken, kind. So you can imagine how fucked up I was when I saw her take some thug space off of the meat cleaver. Now this is promising. Let's see what you're hiding. You got anything good? Documents. You read Chinese? <laughs> nah, but I do read maps and diagrams. Maps and diagrams of what? Looks like a floating server farm. Computer nodes, generators. They're in international waters somewhere near the China-US cable. The Pacific Fleet's been chasing boats and submarines away from that thing for years. But that's a lot of wet to cover. Not when they also feed you coordinates. Thank you, Auntie Shoe Boys. Great. Now get out of there. Ugh! <sighs> 